you will be shocked as Washington unmasks Nigeria. It's a very sad um, discovery what they found out. And then we're just here to bring you up to speed. We need to continue to pray for this country, honestly. The set of leaders we have and those who are in the aim of affair have made this country look like, um, do you call it a dustbin? I'm sorry to say that's the best word I can use. We should be better. With all the natural mineral resources we are endowed with, we should sincerely be better. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Washington unmask Nigeria. At the moment, there is a lot of noise in the land. This is to be expected since 2022 is a pre-election year. I mean the entire doom. However, is this very sad news as put out by Washington, D.C., the disposition on the website of the United States of America are very unflattering. If the truth be told, the revelations are not good. They speak on various aspects of our everyday existence and the overall picture which emerge is ugly. The disposition, revelation around variation like infrastructure, health care facilities, security as regards health care washington among other things spoke on the fact on the fact that fake medicals abound in our country accordingly visitors accordingly visitors are advised to head for places like europe and united states south africa if they need good health care and not nigeria nigeria is not in the list one can only understand the first two special formation. What is somewhat of a bother is the mention of South Africa as a positive destination for medical tourism. There is clearly an ironic edge to this. This is because part of our history as a nation show us as an implacable and unresponsive nation. South Africa during the apex years, eventually South Africa has come out, did not put in place the wholesomeness, they did put in place the wholesomeness of their healthcare system and before you know it overnight, they are a choice place. The implication here is that why we rely and depend on governments who do not care for the nation, healthcare continue to deteriorate. This is not really surprising for even in the high noon of apex when south africa was something of a panic to the world there were news to the effect that the political elites in so in much of southern and eastern africa saw a place as a site for medical tourism and those who may know very well the, and appreciate the legacy of the South African Dr. Barrett. He led the way and the area for the heart surgery and was something of a reflection point to the whole world. Even then, what is being said here about health in relation to South Africa is not an isolation phenomenon. Other areas of life in the country are also worthy of commendation. In any case, most of the immediate forthgoing particular explain the current texture of our relationship between Nigeria and South Africa in the post epic era at this point in at this point in time South Africa is something of an economic forge food than Nigeria our university lecturers trades and medical doctors rely and go there I will explain to you why things are the way they are Yes, you can tell us that South Africa is doing very well. And do you know why Nigeria is not doing very well? To a large extent, the crop of leadership we have. Oh, you will not understand it. We have a set of people like Buhari, I will start from there, who goes to look after his own health. Okay, and the presidency will be bold to tell you that Buhari does not take care of his health in the country. Have you heard Prince Charles, Boris Johnson? Okay, have you heard that any of the, uh, le who, who is the president of America, Joe Biden's wife, her personal doctor is in Nigeria? Is in, I mean, I'm not saying it's not in Nigeria, but is he in Nigeria? What are we talking about? 
If you buy a dog and you call the dog trash, everybody will call that dog trash with you. But when you buy a dog and you call the dog Harrison, everybody will call that same dog Harrison with you. Is Harrison the name particularly of a dog? No, not likely. Harrison might be the name of a human being. But it's as you take your thing, that is the way people will take it with you. Okay, the United States and have looked at Nigeria and have said we produce some of the finest minds and hearts in politics. Some of the finest, I can assure you, is as though potentials are locked up in the nation. I'm sorry to say, I'm very sorry, and I do not mean sarcasm. It's because of the way things are currently today. It's as though potentials are locked up. As soon as Nigerians leave the shores of Africa, all of a sudden they spring to life. All of a sudden, they become, in fact, the best in their field. Even the person doing animal husbandry, okay, lab tech scientists, before you know it, they are the best. Even agriculture, what area, you name it. But in Nigeria, there is no development, there is no care as to whether people's life can be better, what can be done to facilitate and enable the environment to be conducive, job creation from what we have. There is no iota of care of any such thing being given, being paid attention to in Nigeria. At the end of the day, we are looked at like a second class citizen. You know, we are not, we are not awkward. We are not looked at with, you know, with true affection. We are not looked at with true, you know, with true, we, 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 you know, we, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not accorded true respect that we should be given. Why? It is the way you lay your bed. That's the way you lie on it. If you lay your bed anyhow, guess what? You will lie on it that same way. Whatever way you decide to put your thing is the way people will take it with you. If you call, if you take care of your thing properly, people will do that with you. The president's wife, where does she go to for her own medical health care? The president himself, where does he go to? The person who is intending to be Nigerian's president, we're talking about one of the first persons to, you know, show to Nigerians his interest in contesting the presidency. Tinubu, where did, where, where did he go to for his own medical? When he needed, I mean, the one he went to for more than three months, he was out of the country. Where did he go to? I beg your pardon? He was in the UK for the knee surgery. Are we saying he should not go there? No. But do you live by example? Yes. If you have your money, you can go anywhere. There is no restriction as to where you get your medical health, you know, your preference. However, you have shown to us that you don't believe in the system and you're not going to do anything about it. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.